Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Krieger R25 rucksack. This bag, in my opinion, is a motorcycling design classic. It's been around for at least 15 years now and it still has to be one of the best bike bags around if it's not the best bike bag full stop. When I took this Krieger R25 on for this video, I'd not really used one before, but now I can really see why so many people rave about it. It only takes one look through the 47 customer reviews we've had for this bag to see how popular it is with riders. 43 of those 47 reviewers gave this the maximum five stars, and then 27 of those people referred to the superior comfort of the bag. There's particular praise from sufferers of back pain who say the way the harness system braces the weight across their chest stops the bag from aggravating their back trouble like a normal rucksack does. Yes, if there's a criticism, it's that the bag is expensive. At the moment, it's £149 for an R25 like this. But Krieger have never shied away from the fact they don't make bags to fit into a target price. They start with the features and the specification, and the cost is whatever the cost ends up being. There's also a 10-year warranty on their kit, which shows you how confident they are in the build quality. The vast majority of people who are able to find the money to buy a Krieger bag are really happy they did, and it's obvious that quite a few people have a collection of different Krieger bags and accessories because they just know that Krieger stuff's gonna do a really good job for them. So let's run through the details of the R25. The name is the clue to the capacity. There's 25 liters of storage space inside this bag, which is made up of this large main compartment here, and then one small external pocket on the front or the back, depending on how you look at the bag. You get to the main compartment via this zip just here, and inside there's an expanding pouch that keeps your laptop or your documents firmly in place. There's also a small, tough zip-up pocket in there, which holds essentials like your passport or maybe your wallet. This compartment here is big enough for a full-face helmet, as long as that helmet's not too big. A couple of the customer reviewers have used it as a lid stash at events, and I could also get a size medium helmet in there, but it was quite a snug fit, so I wouldn't take it as a guarantee that all full-face helmets are gonna fit in this bag. You can also use that main compartment to store a water reservoir, which means you can carry a drink on your back and then have a tube that feeds through to the harness on the front of the bag through a slot at the top of the bag just here. The smaller outside stash pocket is reached by a zip just here and you can actually fit quite a bit of stuff in that pocket as long as you've not stuffed the main section of the bag absolutely to the gunnels. One of the big benefits of this bag is its flexibility. If it's not full, you can pull these straps on the side tight to compress the load. That stops everything sloshing around all over the place in the bag, and it also makes it more stable on your back while you're riding. And with this being Krieger, loose and flappy bits of strap are the enemy, and there's always a little loop to stop that excess being free to flail about in the wind. This R25 isn't waterproof, which does disappoint some customer reviewers, but it also makes this bag simpler to use than Krieger's waterproof bags, which need a roll top closure at the top to keep out water. If you need a waterproof bag and you want one from Krieger, then the R30 has been around for over a decade and is incredibly popular too. A link to our video about that bag is popping up on the screen now. Krieger have also just released a new smaller bag that's also waterproof, the R22 and I've just started using that bag so we can make a video all about it. If there isn't a link to that video popping up in the corner of the screen now, then there will be as soon as I've been able to make it. Coming back to this R25, a good option for waterproofing if you need it is to have a dry bag liner. Krieger have a range of those dry bags and they're really good quality, but plenty of other brands also make small light dry bags that will keep your vulnerable stuff dry while you're riding. Personally, I found this bag really well suited to daily use. I could get a pair of trainers, my laptop, headphones, and my lunch all in here, and it was very comfortable on my back. As with my experience of other Krieger bags, it's easy to forget you're actually wearing this bag. And in a weird sense, it sometimes feels a bit odd when I'm riding without one. It's a bit like driving a car without a seatbelt in a way. So the comfort from this bag comes from Krieger's quad lock harness, which really is worthy of some sort of motorcycle design award in its own right, I'd say. It gives you massive holes to get your arms through, which is often handy when you're trussed up in something like an armored leather bike jacket. Yeah, it still keeps the bag close fitting and comfortable. So once your arms are through here, you do up the two clips on the front of the harness, and then this section here will bear the weight of the bag, which means your shoulders and your back don't have to carry that weight. You can then tension the support on your chest using these sliders here. Pulling them towards the middle tightens that support around you, and then pulling them away 
extends it and gives you a bit more room to breathe. The height of the bag is also adjustable using the shoulder straps. These padded shoulder sections feed inside the main compartment or come pull out to give you more length and then adjusting these straps allows it to stay tight. You use these dots on the straps to help get it right and also to keep the same level across the two straps. Three dots here puts the bag at its lowest on your back and one dot here, if you pull that through, means the bag will sit at its highest. So between the harness and the main bag is this padded section. If I just undo these clips, pull it away, you can see that padded section there. It's really thick and plush. And I think that actually plays quite a big role in making this bag so comfortable. And having spent a few weeks with the R25, I can genuinely see the appeal. If I was commuting every day in all weathers, then I think a waterproof bag like the R30 would be more appropriate. And it'd be the same for going on trips as the extra five litres of storage would help a lot. But for a daily commuter who rides mostly in the dry, this bag is more convenient. Your stuff's easier to get to through this zip rather than a roll top closure. And the smaller capacity also makes it more compact. And it's not as if carrying a lightweight dry bag inside this is a major hassle. And having that in there means you've got something to keep your stuff dry if you do get caught out in the rain. As a testament of the R25's durability, one of our customer reviewers is now on his second Krieger R25. First one lasted him 13 years and he rides 18,000 miles a year. So there's a lifespan of 234,000 miles, which is enough to get you to the moon as long as you set off at the right time of year. Let's hope that second bag lasts him long enough to get him back. Thanks for watching.